Today I'm taking it back to the 80s and I'm showing you how to get this Tory Lanez alone at prom preset using your phone. I'm Dre and this is 3 Minute Thursday. Which just like the title, I have just three minutes to teach y'all whatever you want to learn. Today's filter is one that I'm a huge fan of. And if you want to learn how to get this hazy film, mind you using only your phone and a free editing app, then make sure not to skip a second because you won't want to miss anything I talk about in this video. But enough rambling, y'all know the rules. Let's get three minutes on the clock and get started. First things first, you're obviously gonna need a picture to edit. And today I'll be using this picture right here. And unlike my other tutorials, today I'm using a daytime photo. So if you plan on using a nighttime picture, please make sure that your subject is well lit and not underexposed in any way, because that will only help you get better results when it comes to the edit. If you'd like to see what this filter looks like on night photo, unlike our reference, make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. And I'll make sure to show you an example along with our results. But now that's settled and we have our photo, the next step is now to download the free Adobe Lightroom app. And once installed, go ahead and import the pictures that you wanna edit. As always, we're starting in the light tab, and all I want you to do is to try your best and follow along, and try to just maintain a similar look to mine. And one thing to note is that you don't need to copy my settings exactly, and this is because our before pictures were taken in different locations, as well as different lighting scenarios. So that means even if you're using one of my presets, a few tweaks might be needed so that the edit fits your picture better. Now the lighting in this reference is very, very soft, so we really don't want to add too much contrast, and with our exposure, whites and blacks, we're looking to bring it down a bit, so I could avoid the harsh lighting of the daylight. Now once you're done here, your image should look somewhat similar to mine. If not, spend a little bit of extra time and just try to tweak the settings until you get something similar. Once you do, our next step is to go into the curves and I want you to add three points, one in the middle, then two in the middle of those and go ahead and grab this bottom dot and just slightly drag it down as well as the dot in the middle up top. Next, go ahead and hit the green curve. Once again, add these three dots and now I just want you to slightly pull down the bottom dot once again. And what this does is add some red to your shadows. Once I'm done with this part, this is what my image looks like. And as you can see, we're starting to get there a little bit. And if at any point you're struggling to follow along or just too lazy, the Toyland's preset file is now available for purchase and has also been added to my everything pack, which is a one-time fee for more than 17 different presets and more, which are being added monthly. Next, we're heading over to the color tab. First, we're gonna wanna drag our temperature slider a decent amount to the right, so our image is a bit warmer. And after that, we're doing the usual, which is adding a bit of vibrance and taking out a bit of saturation. But now, our next step is to head over to the mix tab. And today, we're only gonna be tweaking two colors. Starting with the reds, I put minus 30 into hue. Next, you can leave the saturation where it is, then bring the luminance down minus five. That's it for the reds, and now onto our second color, which are the oranges. Starting off, add eight to the hue. Next, add plus 14 for saturation. And to finish it off, add plus 12 to our luminance. After the hue tab, here's what the image is looking like. And for this next tab, we're gonna see plenty of changes in our image, which is the color grading. Now, I don't plan on going through each and every setting, but I will throw up a screenshot that you guys can pause in just a few seconds. But first, a quick tip when trying to replicate the same values for me in this section. And if you look at the top while dragging your finger on the screen, you can see the exact hue and saturation values that you're on. Here are the settings for the color grading tab. Go ahead and pause now and try your best to get the same exact values as me. But the one thing that we're missing is that almost hazy film look which can easily be achieved in the effects tab. Once we're there, here's what we're gonna do. First, I want you to take quite a bit of texture as well as clarity out of the image. This will give us that blurry, hazy look that we're looking for and almost give the image the feeling that it was shot on an older camera. Next, we wanna go into the negative with dehaze and finally to add my favorite part, the grain. So go ahead, bump up your grain size and roughness. And if you followed along correctly, you should have an image that looks somewhat similar to this. Here's my before and after, as well as the after compared to our reference. Oh, and before I forget, as promised, here's the Tory Lanez preset applied to a nighttime photo. But honestly, if you like this as a nighttime preset, then I know for a fact that you'll enjoy this video here, where I show you how to get this beautiful film Drake filter, which just happens to be one of my best nighttime presets. So if you're interested, make sure to give it a watch. And if you enjoyed the video, it's free to subscribe. And I'd really appreciate it if you did that. Leave a like and a comment down below, letting me know what you'd like to see next. Anyways, I don't know what you're still doing here, but the video's done, so you can, uh, you can click off now. No, I'm being serious. Uh, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just gonna sit here now. Come on, man.